Hey guys, welcome to a new video for me where we are going to play this Lava Loon Skelly King. The deck is incredibly insane and I also want to get 8,000 trophies this season with this deck. I wish you a lot of fun with the video and we today we are trying to come as high as possible as we can. Let's go guys. Alright guys, for sure feel free to already like this video and yeah, as I said, we are trying to come hopefully at the end of this season or at the end of next video. Not really sure how much time I have this season, but our long term goal is to get 8000 trophies and for sure it's possible with this deck because the deck is a really deck. This, this, the deck is a, not a fun deck. The deck is really played also in the top 50, top 10 in the world sometimes, especially uh, from Pompeo, I think Pompeo is for sure the best player with this deck and let's see how we can actually manage this game. Hopefully Flying Machine is dealing a lot of damage, just how uh, throwing actually the ultimate is for sure good against his e -bubs. Also you guys can see how efficient actually the ultimate was against him and just playing the next tombstone. So you guys can see, yeah we have actually it's even, even damage. We are having actually even damage, but Zappies and the Queen, in my experience, are the worst cards you can face with this deck because you can't actually throw just arrows onto the Zappies. Unfortunately, you have to play, for example, minor arrows onto him, but for sure, just uh, he just could play, for example, skellies onto the zappies and the zappies would survive the whole situation. So, flame machine is coming in right now. Skelly king is also just going in. Tombstone is going in, in the deep and it should be enough. Not sure if it's really enough, but I think it should be enough. Yes, maybe it's some damage, maybe it's one elite barbarian hit, but for sure that's something we have to deal with and for sure one elite barbarian hit is not worth it to defend it with even three more elixirs. So next Lava Hound is going in and for sure we just can still win the game completely because the double time is a better game for us. The double time is actually the time where we can charge up our Skelly King. For example, with the tombstone we are just playing right now. Every Skelly which is dying out of the tombstone is bringing us one more Skelly for our Skelly King. Drakes are going in. Miner is also just going in. And now I'm having the arrows against him. And playing the next flying machine at the left. Also just playing the delayed mega minion. Which might be actually one hit of the loon. But I don't think it be it will be a second hit. So all good my friends. Next Skelly King is into the pocket. And whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What a crazy deck. Alright guys. Playing now against Yota. Out of the clan. Dimas CR. Let's see what he is actually playing. By the way, guys, you can use your tombstone so incredibly well to charge up the Skelly King, especially in a double time. Just play preemptive actually your tombstone and then go on with the Skelly King in the back or maybe even in the front. So, Flame Machine is going in. Mega Minion is going at the right, so for sure it will be a tower trade, but that's also something I actually expected. And now playing the Skelly Drax in behind, because I think about he might go in with bats, so it's the tower for sure. Maybe he's going in now with bats, but as I said, it's a tower, guys. It's a tower, guys. That's exactly what we are want to get. That's also the reason why I'm not actually overextending, in my opinion, for example, with the arrows so tombstone went in right now having the skelly king right now and having a miner right now against him to hopefully kill the miner somehow and also to kill the elite barbarian i mean the mega knight which went successful but for sure also he might play with the prince yes and now i'm having nothing against the prince Unfortunately, I even have to play the arrows onto him. Okay, the bats now were a big overextend from him. But I even had to play actually the arrows against him. Otherwise, my tower would have been at 1000 damage or something like that or 1000 HP. So, 
let's see how I can actually keep my king tower alive. But for sure, with a tombstone, it might be successful. So, good. Drakes for sure, negative two elixir trade from us. Tombstone is going in. Skelly King is also going in. And now I'm going in with the flying machine against him. Also the lava hound is going in. And also just the drakes are going to get in. And now let me check how I can actually defend him. Playing just the arrows onto him, playing just the miner onto him brings us actually in a cool situation. So don't or just need actually to play a mega minion for example against him. And that's already it I guess. Yes, for sure it's a good matchup. Even if an opponent isn't having any big spell, just play the lava horn, just play the skelly decks, just play actually the flying machine. And the second game was also so so Great guys. By the way, I checked actually the trophies right now and we went into the top 10,000 in the world. Yes, it's just the top 10,000, but I think it's still actually pretty cool being ranked right now. So let's see what my opponent is doing right now. Also playing against Lockbait is so incredible. Great guys for us, especially because of the flame machine and because of the arrows. It's often not a big deal beating hopefully lock bait so flying machine went in right now drags also went in right now minions are going in against his princess and let's see who is having at the end of the day more or who did more damage but it's looking like actually that i didn't got any kind of damage so for sure he did more damage onto us than we did but also a big big tip for sure guys is just going in with the tombstone at the back at your tower which is having actually less HP Mega Minion is going in having the arrows already ready against his Goblin Bell which might come but it's not looking like that okay where is this princess coming arrows are going in and now it's just time for a Skeleton King for sure, because also his Rekai is out of the cycle, yes, he might be able to uh, to cycle back, uh, but still a good trade. Miner is going in, so a Miner Skelly push, also pretty cool, so he still needs to defend that. And now it's time for the ultimate. Unfortunately, he's having the Rekai, but not really sure if the Rekai is dealing everything. No, the Rekai is not dealing with everything, so just making actually one about 500 damage or 600 damage onto our tower was worth it. So, also, now we are the first time of the whole game in a damage lead. Tombstone is going in. We don't need to play actually also arrows, but we could have do that, but we don't need to. And now it's just time for the next Skelly King in the back, and you guys can see actually what is the strategy. Really, what the strategy really is. Flame Machine is coming in, so I'm not getting that much kind of damage. Mm, yeah, he might go in with a rocket, but I don't know if a rocket is the best or the smartest way he could defend us. I was also just going in, and I'm sure a uh, Valkyrie wouldn't be solve his problems actually because I'm just spamming in and you guys can see how you guys can actually even handle a Valkyrie but I think all of you guys probably think Valkyrie is a big hard counter against Skelly King and yes Valkyrie is a big hard counter against Skelly King but just when you're spamming actually enough behind your Lava Hound the Valkyrie isn't enough and yeah that's how we were able to beat a deck with the Valkyrie By the way guys, before we are jumping into the next game, you guys can see actually we are currently ranked. So yes, we are not uh, even at 8000 trophies, but we are ranked so, so for sure. In my opinion, everyone who is actually ranked, who is actually in the top 10,000 in the world, is not the baddest player. So going in with the Drakes, going in with the Tombstone, actually talking about not the baddest players and then seeing Elite Barbarians at the bridge, first play is kind of weird, but I think you might know what I am trying to say. Also the Skelly Drake plus the, uh, plus the one Skelet is dealing incredible damage. I think starting in the game with already 1500 damage, damage lead is 
insanely good for us. That's what I'm taking, but for sure also playing against the golem, not having a tombstone in the hand. Tombstone is the brokenest answer against the golem. Is kind of unlucky also, not able to charge up the skeleton king right now. Is feeling kind of bad for sure. Anyways, just going in with the miner right now and also just going in with the drakes right now. This time, okay, 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 okay. okay. Let me check how I can handle this situation. But it's look like all good, my friends, when we are just going in with a tombstone against him. He might not have any kind of reset. Also, the tombstone might survive, so it's good. The mini packer was a joke, didn't have to play the mega minion, to be honest. But uh, I wanted to be safe, actually, especially because when playing against golem inferno dragon you don't know really if he's if he's maybe even playing with um yeah how it is a call with a zap and now i need to actually uh not to play any more cards which is great so you guys can see actually you can also just go in with a skeleton king um, yeah, without ultimating that, just as guards, just as a Valkyrie, you also just can go in with the Skeleton King to defend opposite or to, de to defend pushes from your opponent. So going in with the Flag Machine right now and in situations like that, just go in with a Tombstone like that because you guys can see actually how efficient the Skellies are, how efficient everything is actually to charge up your, go uh, your Skelly King, I mean. Okay, Mega Minion is going in against him, for sure. Now it's time for the ultimate, and hopefully the, also the Skelly King is dying, but it's not looking like that. Anyways, I am dealing so much damage onto him. Flying Machine is just going in, and we might should just go in in front of with the Lava Hound, also with the Skelly Drags, because I think making a big, big counter push is worth it or is smart. So next tombstone is going in and now it's time for the next skeleton king, the, the, the skeletons and everything else is working us so much to charge us completely up. So going in with the next ultimate is helping us a lot for sure against his inferno dragon, against everything others. So flying machine is just going in. And now the mega minion, mega minion is just going in. But you guys can see actually it's not arrows range unfortunately yet. Um, but even it's actually already GG because we're just needing one more connection and I'm waiting. I don't think he's going to, to predict the minor right here because I never already played the minor right here. Yes, he isn't able to defend that or to predict that. So I'm getting three minor hit and also won the next game. And we also jumped into the top 10,000 in the world, which is pretty, pretty great in my opinion. Yeah, guys, that's it with the video. Needing 1,200 trophies more for the ultimate goal, getting 8,000 trophies. And you guys can be a part of that when you're subscribing to the channel and when you're watching your next videos. Otherwise, I want to thank you all for watching until here. See you next video. Bye, guys.